create a new layer, click on this icon, change the foreground color to white and the background color to a light gray, press OK, select the gradient tool, make sure the gradient is foreground to background, the shape is radial, and now trace your gradient. Place the gradient layer under the image, select the image layer, and now go to Edit, Define New, and then select Pattern. And now select the Rectangle tool, left click, and then create a rectangle. Right click on the rectangle, Rasterize, and then right click, select Blending Options. Reduce the fill to 0%, select the stroke, add the stroke, change the color of the stroke to white. The position is inside, and I'm going to increase the stroke, and then select pattern overlay, left click on the pattern, and then select the image. Make sure to uncheck the align with layer, and then press OK. Place the rectangle under the image layer. Select the image layer, right click and then select clipping mask. And now select the rectangle. I'm just going to add the drop shadow, right click, blending options. Select the drop shadow. I'm going to use these settings here. Press OK. I'm going to change the background layer color to a darker gray so we can see the effect. Press OK. Change the foreground color, left click, select the paint bucket tool and then left click. And now select the rectangle shape, right click on it and then duplicate. Select the move tool and then move the layer. If you want to rotate it, click the transform controls. And now as you can see, our cursor changed into curved arrow and now we can rotate it and then right click, duplicate, you just need to duplicate the layer. Right click, duplicate, and then move it. Hold the Alt key, the Control key, and the Shift key, and then press E to create a new layer, almost visible. 